What's up guys? My name is Emily Alexandra Guillermo and I am known as the American Mermaid, aka formerly known as the Florida Mermaid. I am doing this video today because I wanted to discuss a few things that have been coming up into the public on social media with controversy on my cosmetic brand, which is Emily Alexandra Cosmetics, hence my first and middle name. I decided I decided to do that because I feel like it just flows better uh, with your mouth, Emily Alexandra, instead of Emily Guglielmo Cosmetics. Um, it sounds a lot nicer, so I decided to go with my first and middle name. Um, so there is um, some buzz in um, the mermaid community saying that my cosmetic line is faulty, is fake. Um, so I wanted to just bring to light so people can really understand who I am and what my cosmetic brand is all about. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So I decided to be a professional mermaid years ago, back in 2012. I got a professional silicone, full silicone mermaid tail online. This was with Mer Taylor. Um, his name is Eric and he is out of uh, Crystal, 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 the <laughs> Crystal River, Florida. <laughs> um, that's a quick, quick uh, tongue twister. And um, this was way before, long before he had his uh, storefront. And it was all online and I ordered it online. I got it a little bit late, but it is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, I have now since then retired that tail. And my newest tail is by Marrow Fins and his name is Matthew, AKA Maddie. And he lives in Orlando. Um, I was born and raised in Tampa. I now reside in Orlando. So I am blessed to be in a state where I can go swimming at the beach in the springs. Uh, I've always been swimming ever since I was a little girl. I started swimming at like six months old. Um, so I'm an avid swimmer. I love to free dive, scuba dive. I love to be a mermaid. Um, and my mermaid career actually took off rather organically. Um, I took my mermaid tail and went to the beach to do a photo shoot. So it was my first photo shoot. And I was getting a lot of people like coming over and looking at the tail, taking pictures with me. The parents were asking me, oh my gosh, can you come to my children's birthday party? So I said, well, this is very interesting. Um, so it started off like that. I created a website and bam, it just blew up. I was so busy um, every weekend for many years. Um, and then I started traveling all over the state um, and then I had mermaids that would work with me um, under my agency um, that I decided to start. Um, I also worked with Jonathan, Jonathan Fudge at the beginning, Your Total Entertainment. He's out of Tampa, great guy. Um, I worked with him and got a lot of experience as well. Also doing like princess gigs. Um, thanks, Fudge. Um, he also tried to teach me how to do um, balloon animals. At that time, I wasn't really interested in doing that, but I did learn a little bit. Um, however, I never did um, balloon gigs. Um, and then so I started traveling all over the state doing mermaid events and gigs. And um, then I started getting calls outside of the state. So I was traveling all over the country, Vegas, New York, Atlanta, um, California I just I was all over um, and to this day I'm still a professionally known mermaid I go by both I go by the Florida mermaid and the American mermaid I have both websites that are still active and up I have both Instagram handles both Facebook accounts um, and I own both of those trademarks um, so I own the Florida mermaid and I also own the American mermaid um, so whichever one you want to call me I still go by both um, so while I was doing events throughout the years, I noticed that my makeup would come off in the water and hence that's kind of where the idea came to fruition. I wanted to create a cosmetic line that not only was good for your skin, but it was safe for the coral reefs as well. I'm a really big ocean activist and I really wanna help support our oceans to stay clean and healthy and our coral reefs to, to live. 
I've actually also recently partnered up with A Thousand Mermaids. They do artificial uh, reef, reef statues that they put under the ocean. I am so proud and so honored to be a part of A Thousand Mermaids. I'm getting a statue created, um, created me. Uh, so I will be actually one of the statues with me in my mermaid tail, which will be going down later this year. I'm so excited. So stay, stay tuned for that. Um, they're do, really doing an amazing job. They're a nonprofit that really helped to uh, re recreate the growth of coral reefs under the water with um, artificial technology. It's amazing. So go check them out as well. Um, so I wanted to create a cosmetic line that a was good for your skin. It was safe for the coral reefs, all natural, vegan, cruelty free, ocean friendly, water resistant. I wanted the whole realm, right? So I started doing my research and development and I came across this website, which I actually used to use for my other things I used to do. My mom and I own a business where we uh, make our own homemade gifts and we sell them to gift shops all over the country. We're also in a lot of aquarium gift shops. We do a lot of homemade mermaid and pirate um, toys for children. So um, I've already known about this website. It's called Alibaba. Um, they are extremely big. And if you guys don't know what they are, this is what they are. They are a database platform website hub where you can go in and you can actually research for different manufacturers and factories that can help create the product that you want to make for yourself and sell. So here I am thinking, okay, well, I wanna create a cosmetic brand. So I'm going on Alibaba, looking, reaching out. It took over a year, guys. It looks very simplistic. Their platform is super user-friendly, um, but it took a while for me personally to really vet out the correct factory manufacturer and the products and exactly how their factory is sanitized, um, how they perform at work, um, if they speak perfect English. Um, so there was a lot of factors involved with me really, really honing in and deciding what manufacturer factory I was gonna go with. So I reached out to quite a few um, and I actually at the very beginning um, got my cosmetics from a couple different factories. And I know now that um, I want to stay with one. Now I started the cosmetic brand. I, I launched the cosmetic company in November of 2018. So it's a year and a half old. Um, now when I bought my products in bulk to have them shipped here to the United States, my factories are in Korea and Asia. So they would ship them over here and then bam, now they're here. And then once they get here, some of the other packaging I, um, I put together here. So it's really like the factories there and then I manufacture here and sell here. Um, so with that being said, all of the artwork and all of, um, every, all of the illustrations, the artwork, the logo, all of that I own, I also have it all copyrighted. However, bonk, bonk, bonk. This is, this is it. However, because I am copyrighted in America, it does not make me copyrighted in other countries, right? Um, it's extremely expensive. Um, I did look into it, but I decided not to do it at this time because um, I was just getting started. I'm still a very new young brand, uh, have no money. <laughs> um, so lo and behold, and this happens to a lot of brands out there, the factories will um, try to recreate, they'll, they'll see that you bought from a factory on Alibaba and then they can reach out to that factory and then see what you bought and they can try and resell what I bought with my illustrations and all of my artwork on the palettes, on the packaging. Um, so there are many companies out there that do this every single day to huge known brands, Too Faced, Kylie Cosmetics, you name it, they have 
try to replicate it almost exactly to the T and resell it as a knockoff. It happens every day all around the world and it's extremely heartbreaking, but what can you do? There's, it's absolutely not in my control. Um, so it looks like that there are already some, some companies out there that are um, selling some of my artwork on their palettes, maybe with a different logo. Um, and, and so with that being said, I just really wanna stress it to all of you. Um, this, this is the cutthroat of the industry and this goes for any industry. I knew what I was getting into when I um, got into the cosmetic realm. Um, what I did not know is how much it takes to create a brand. And when I first started, all of the ingredients are not 100% vegan. They're not 100% water resistant. And so I want to always strive to create better formulas and, and better ingredients, packaging, so um, I am currently this very second, as we speak, as I speak, um, I'm re redesigning all new packaging for uh, 2020 fall season. Um, I'm always retweaking the ingredients and formulas. Um, but I want to just really stress that when I first started, no, it was not 100% vegan or 100% water resistant, ocean friendly. But with the retweaking of the formulas ingredients, I'm really getting there. And I'm just so honored to actually have my own brand. Um, this has been a very long time coming and it takes a lot of work. And I know there's always gonna be people out there that don't want to see you succeed or will always bash and um, put down your name and your brand and try and s slaughter and slander. Um, and that's okay. Um, because there will always be people out there like that. However, I want you all to know that Emily Alexandra Cosmetics is a true brand. It's a living, breathing brand. We are getting more successful every day. I am so proud of it. I put my heart and soul in it. Um, everything takes time and everything takes work. And if you guys have an idea or if you guys really have always been really wanting to start your own product line, your own brand, your own company. Alibaba is definitely the way to go. Um, I would say um, starting to look in the America um, is key. So I'm actually looking right now actively for a factory in the United States that can help um, create everything that I want and keep those prices low like Asia and China does. Um, so if you guys are really interested, you can start anything you want. Alibaba.com is the way to go. It is a huge forum for all different factories, all different products. You can really create anything you want. Um, so I just love you guys. And I'm, I really, really, really appreciate the, the honesty and just the support, um, personally through via text, phone, email, social media. Um, I just, I, I get a lot of support that keeps me going. Um, I'm still actively doing mermaid events and I can't wait to see any of you out there in the water. And if all of you don't know who I am, my name is Emily Alexandra Guglielmo, known as the American Mermaid, AKA the Florida Mermaid. Also owner and founder, creator of Emily Alexander Cosmetics and also founder um, of a nonprofit I started the same time that I started my cosmetic company. It's called supportingwater.org and it's a foundation where I raise and find monies to bring drinking water to third and fourth world nations. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always had such a true passion of it should be a hum humanistic right. We should all have drinkable water. And there are so many unfortunate areas of this world on this globe that people don't have full access to drinking water. And so a portion of every single purchase from the cosmetic company, a portion of every single purchase goes back into supportingwater.org as well as um, a, a percentage of every single mermaid event booked. So there you have it. 
Um, I'd also like to just kind of squeeze in there. I have decided to pursue something that I've always wanted to do for so long and just haven't done it. And that is um, start my own podcast and YouTube channel. Um, so please go subscribe. Uh, my podcast talk show is called All Talks of Life. And it is a show where I get to interview people from all walks of life, all over, different careers, industry paths, different religions, different jobs, you name it, I'm talking about it with them. And if you would like to even get interviewed, oh my gosh, that would be fantastic. I would love to interview. Please reach out to me personally, DM me on Instagram, message me on Facebook. It's me personally behind the scenes at all times. So I'm, I'm reading every single DM um, and we'll get you on the show. So please go and subscribe, like us, follow me, everything. Um, and I will do the same back. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys really understand a little bit more about who I am, what I do, what Emily Alexander Cosmetics is. So without any more further ado, I love you all. Have a beautiful June. Stay tuned.